your purpose is, I mean, sometimes, let's say, sometimes you don't even know, you know, can't even call it yours. You, you just call it, you know, you've been handed this by some force, and, and you have a responsibility, and you just do it as well as you can. And that's all you have to worry about. You know, you don't have to listen to, you know, let it get under your skin. You know, I, I basically never read my reviews for years. You know, I figured, but why should I read them if they're going to be mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. Good evening, Ms. Walker. Hi. Um, I would love to pick a few gems from your mind real quick. Um, some people who fall in love, they'll see a lot of themselves in that other person. So I really wonder if you find love as a way of um, greed or narcissism, or do you feel like it's far from it, a little bit of it? You, this is romantic love. This is um, a yes, partner type love. Yes. I just fall in love with really cute people. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> world, it's your girl Nina Love. I was able to meet Alice Walker tonight. A couple of videos ago, I talked about um, one of the books that changed my life, and it was 25 years ago, and this book changed my life in college, The Color Purple, and this is my, this is my college copy. Anyway. So she was here, it was sponsored by uh, Richland 2 District. I guess that's the uh, education district in this area. It was sponsored by them, the event was free, and so I was glad to see that there it was well attended. You didn't really hear a lot of advertisements here in Colombia. Well, I didn't, I happened to find it on Facebook. I don't know how I found it on Facebook, but I happened to find it on Facebook, and that's how I, I learned about it. Anyway, um, Richland 2 sponsored it, and she's just released this book called Taking the Arrow Out of the Heart. It's a book of poetry, and um, what was interesting she said about this book is that the original title she had penned for this book was called um, The Long Road Home, and I, it's, a, it's a poem in here. I haven't read the book yet. I just bought it tonight at the event, but... Um, it's a poem about Muhammad Ali and his stance on um, not being drafted and going to Vietnam to fight in a war that what didn't belong to him. And so I'm super excited to devour this book of poetry. And um, she's, she's a cool cat. She would definitely be someone I would love to sit and talk to for hours and hours and hours. And... Uh, during the Q&A, I didn't get up to ask a question. The, the, the lines were long. There were four lines of, um, during the Q&A, and um, I didn't get up to ask the question. But if I did, I would ask her about her writing process. You know, like, does, does she write, like, only when inspiration, inspiration strikes her, or does she sit down and actually just every day at the same place at the same time writing? You know, like, I'm always interested to know how people's uh, writing process happens because... I haven't found something that's consistent all the time. I sit down and write, and sometimes inspiration comes, and sometimes it's just not there. And I need that drive of inspiration and creativity. So um, I just thought there were so many things she said in her um, interview. So first hour was uh, a local anchor or lo a local newscaster interviewed her and he was very ill prepared. Can I just say that? He was not prepared to interview this gem, this Pulitzer Prize winning author, Alice Walker. He was not prepared. That was kind of irritating. Um, but she poked fun at it and, and she had a good time with it that he was not prepared. She was like, oh, so you just read the cover of the book. <laughs> you read the inside jacket. That's what she said or something. It was really funny. And um, so she kind of took it from there and just talked until Q&A. And what I thought was one of a, a really good question somebody asked was, what are you reading? Like, I'm always interested to know what people are reading also. But for somebody who's such an inspirational author, you wonder what kind of books they read. And her answer, like, 
she didn't even think twice. She just goes, Tina Turner. I'm reading Tina Turner. It was so funny. And, um, and another question, the same person who asked that question said, who's like the most interesting person you've met? And what I loved about Alice Walker's answer was that she said, if I told you the, the most interesting people I've met, you wouldn't even know them. Like the most interesting people I've met, uh, she's, she says was, are people, normal people. And they're not necessarily famous. They're just everyday people. And she talked about one of her favorite uh, travels or destinations she traveled to was to a place in Peru where she studied with shamans and tried to and, and learn to reconnect with Mother Earth. And I thought that is so beautiful. You know, coming up Pacific Islander, we took it for granted or I took it for granted how close we are to nature. You know, there's dozens and dozens of words in the Hawaiian language to describe the ocean and to this, you know, and, and that in itself tells you how important the ocean is to my people. So when you have something like that in our, in, in your culture, I took it for granted, you know, that we are close to mother earth and we should be taking care of the earth. And for her to say, she had to go all the way to Peru to learn that I, I just was blown away. And I took it for granted coming up on an Island in the middle of the Pacific that we are close to the earth anyway. Um, what else did I like about her? Uh, there were so many things and she only spoke for an hour. You know, they did that interview for an hour and then we had, I think, um, no, she spoke for 30 minutes. That's it. And then 30 minutes Q and A. And then after that was the meet and greet. And I was able to take a picture with her. She didn't sign my copy of my college copy of the color purple, but I did get to take a picture with her. So I I'm happy about that. Um, I can tell you this, I am going to go and read her other works now just because she's so real and I, she's so inspirational and, um, yeah, she's fabulous and I'm so excited. Who knew 25 years ago when I was reading the color purple that I would actually meet the author who knew I would be here in South Carolina. It's just crazy. There are no coincidences and I'm just excited and grateful for this place that I'm at in my life. And um, it's so exciting. Anyway, I just wanted to share that real quick on today's blog post. This is not my regular Wednesday video podcast. This is just a regular video I wanted to make talking about my experience with Alice Walker. And I'm excited. If you have never read The Color Purple, it's so beautiful. The book and the movie, fantastic works. I wish I could see the Broadway play, but I looked, they're nowhere to be found. <laughs> I think the traveling cast of The Color Purple is in London right now, because trust me, I did go and look for um, tickets to go see that play. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. It's your girl, Nina Love. Follow me, ninalove.com. Like me on Facebook, at Love Nina Love. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram at love Nina Love. It's your girl, Nina Love.